Anton Scoro, Fist of Cuff Radio, 5365 with my dog, my man, another medal on your neck. Caleb, let's talk, man. Uh, you're out here in Dallas. Obviously, we just talked a little off camera. You just turned 13. Yeah. So you moved up in weight down here. You were fighting kids 15 pounds heavier. What are you yeah. doing? I didn't move up in weight. This is my division. Um, in reality, I'm 75 pounds. Um, uh, but I'm not making excuses. This is my division, um, and I'm here to stay. Um, anyways, I just need to fix some, uh, go back to the lab and fix some of my mistakes. Um, I got to explain some of my matches real quick. Uh, my first match, um, it, it was a scrap fest. Basically, it was kind of 50-50 position. Um, I got some exchanges I wanted to. Um, like, so I got a double leg in overtime. And, um, but... I got caught in a Kimura, but congrats to the guy. Um, he got me a submission fair and square. I'm not complaining. Let's go back to the lab and fix it. Um, my second match, the guy pulled out, so um, I got an automatic buy to the bronze match. And my bronze match, that was also a big scrap fest. The guy was, the guy was big. Um, uh, he's, he was a he, tough opponent. Uh, much respect to him. Um, but I was able to get side control in the last 30 seconds to get my three and pull off a bronze medal. So I'm super happy and I'm super proud of myself and all glory to God. When well, me and dad were just talking, like, you're used to winning gold. That's kind of what you do. Yes, that's, that's your thing, bro. But this bronze medal is almost as important, if not more important, oh, yeah. than a lot of those gold medals. Oh, yes. It's way more important than um, all the gold medals I've won previously. I'm super proud of this bronze medal. Um, you know, I work my butt off every day, and I fought super hard, man. I'm super proud of myself. Well, I'm always proud of you, man, whether you get a medal or not. Thank I'm always proud of you for two reasons. Number Thank one, you. this attitude and this smile are freaking contagious and amazing. <laughs> and number two, like, I truly believe that you're one of the kids that will be the future of the sport. I have no doubt in 10 years you will be fighting at Worlds. I have no doubt you'll be doing super matches. You'll probably have a trading card that you have to autograph. And if I don't get one, I'm going to hunt you down. So, um... I that's just, a dream. That's a dream. It, it's not a dream. It's a reality, and it's yeah. going to happen. Um, that's the one thing I truly feel, brother. You are you are the future of the sport, and you carry yourself unlike most kids. I mean, you're you're a true professional already at such a young age. So let's talk something that you and I are both super excited about. August, the show goes oh, down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Kids Worlds. I've said it a few times here today, and I want to say it again. You are about two months away from making history. Yeah. What does it mean to be a part of such a crazy event and make history? You know, I work my butt off each and every day. Even when the, um, two years ago when the first uh, announcement that there's going to be a Kids Worlds, man, I, I was just working my butt off every day. So I'm super proud of myself for getting here. Um, I could not have done it without God. And um, I just praise all the glory to him. Um, I, they released the divisions, uh, so I know who's in my bracket. So I'm just going to keep working hard and hopefully I can pull off the W. I think there's a good chance. So with brackets being released and you knowing who's in your division, my question is, perfect world. It all goes the way you want. Who do you see in the finals? You know, I don't know. Um, all the guys are great in my division. Um, I'm not calling out any names. That's not my style. I just go into tournaments and I pop in there and I see who, see who, see who I can challenge. So that's that. All right, well, uh, I guess my last question for you is, now that you've had kind of a full season of ADCC, what event's been your favorite, and what's been the most memorable moment for you all year long? You know, all of them were my favorites, actually. Everything was so surreal. Um, this one was really special to me, obviously. Um, but if I had to pick a favorite, it would be this one, because, you know, I challenged myself, you know. Um, this was this meant a lot to me you know why because like um i just work my butt off every day and i'm just super happy man i'm super proud of myself i'm i just can't say it and can't describe it into words man well i'll put it into words for you you're incredible you're amazing you're a superstar and there's no doubt that you are the future of the sport my friend so it's always an honor for me to get a chance to talk to you i think you carry yourself in the highest regards i have the utmost respect for you and i'm super proud of this bronze medal as well for you my friend so